speak with the uh, Governor Beal, the tax bill, a time ago, like your reaction? You know, we're obviously disappointed uh, that the governor vetoed the tax bill. Uh, this was a bill that really uh, would have made it easier for Minnesotans to file their taxes next year. Uh, you've heard the feds say that uh, with the tax bill that they passed that you can now do your federal income tax return on a postcard. Um, if the governor doesn't sign a tax bill this year, it will take a phone book for Minnesotans to file their taxes next year. Uh, and I have very low confidence that our revenue department will be able to actually uh, put together the system and the forms necessary for people to file. This is a really important issue. Issue. Um, our bill actually uh, gave tax relief to uh, low, in, low and middle income Minnesotans uh, in the process of, of tax conformity. Um, so this was as reasonable a bill as you could have found. Um, it actually was a slight increase on taxes for businesses. That's what federal tax conformity did here in Minnesota. It increased taxes on businesses. Um, we left some of those increases in place um, and actually gave the tax relief to low and middle income Minnesotans. So what the governor did today was veto a bill that would have put money in low and middle income Minnesotans pockets. Um, and I, I am incredibly disappointed uh, that the governor has decided to play politics with this bill instead of giving Minnesotans some certainty um, and allowing them uh, to, to file their taxes more easily next year. Why not give them school money and get your tax cut? You know, the governor, uh, we certainly will look at the school money. Uh, the governor obviously, uh, and you've all been around here long enough to understand, uh, the governor uh, brought together a proposal with two weeks left in session, never mentioned it during his state of the state, never put it in his supplemental budget bill. Uh, we've never talked about it, never had hearings on it here in the legislature. The governor knew he was bringing it too late. And it's not a coincidence uh, that the governor's uh, money for schools is exactly the same number as the tax bill. Um, the governor is literally trying to pit this this group of Minnesotans against that group. And in this case, it's low and middle income Minnesotans who would get some tax relief, some really much needed tax relief. He's pitting those people uh, against kids in schools. And, and I think uh, the Democratic Party really has failed Minnesotans because they always are pitting one group of people against another. I think we as leaders here need to come together. Uh, and I encourage the governor. We're, we're on day four now this week where the governor has literally said he will not meet with us. Um, it, we cannot land this session uh, smoothly uh, and find compromise necessary to pass these bills if the governor won't engage the legislature and actually just sit down with us. Uh, we're going to send a letter to the governor shortly uh, inviting him to a meeting this afternoon. Um, we're hopeful that he will come to the table and, and start talking with us about what it's going to take uh, to get some, some agreement. But up until this point, the governor has literally said, it's my way or the highway. And while we're here today supporting highways, we like that. Uh, we think that compromise is necessary uh, in the budget and on our tax bill. The governor says he's speaking to Senator Gazelka that he has reached out and that he wants to get this done. The governor has the governor, reached out? No, the governor says Senator Gazelka is the one who's re reaching out and he is the one who wants to get this done. He left you out of the Senate. Well, you know, the governor spends too much time at the residence uh, getting mad at people over here at the legislature. Get in your vehicle, drive over here to the Capitol. Uh, let's sit down together and solve some of these problems. This isn't an adversarial thing, and I'm not going to make it an adversarial thing with the governor. Um, we may have differences of opinion, but I actually get along with the governor really well. Uh, and, and that was uh, obvious uh, when we were fishing uh, over the weekend. Um, we get along on a personal level fine. We're going to have some differences as we work through this, but we have done this before and we can do it again. We cannot do it if the governor will not actually talk to us. It sounds like you're willing to talk with them about some amount of advanced funding. Um, what, what do you think might be might be doable? Mr. You know, if we're gonna if we're gonna pass emergency education funding, we should actually pass it for the schools that are in an emergency situation and need it. The governor's plan gives money to every school, um, including the vast majority of them that don't have a, a budget problem right now. Um, so we really, uh, you know, and that's what the legislature does. We get our arms wrapped around what the problem is. We do that through public hearings uh, in a transparent setting where everyone can come in and testify and give their opinion on whether it's a good idea or not. Um, we want to make sure that we're using our tax dollars wisely. Um, I'll remind folks that, that education, K-12 education in this state, under Republican control in the Minnesota House and the Senate, has gotten a billion dollar incre increase in the last two budgets. Uh, we gave them a 6% increase just this biennium alone. Um, so it, it, schools have gotten more money when Republicans control the legislature than they have when Democrats control the legislature. That is a fact. We certainly support our schools. We 
we support our teachers. What we don't like is the governor trying to use our kids and our teachers as a political ploy uh, to try to get people to table for, for something that has never been vetted. Um, this is really a stunt on the governor's behalf. Um, and what we want to do is sit down and figure out, is there a way we can help the schools that have a real problem? Um, and if that's necessary, we will be at the table. Um, but this is a bigger issue than just abroad. We're going to give a, a bunch of money to every school without a plan. So no Thank you.